And now, Didier, please do us the honors to reveal Thank you. our team Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. The Zelephone, our hosts, with two titles, they're aiming to recreate the magic of 1992 and 2015, where they'll be in Group A in position A1. And now, Mikel, over to you. But before you start, please, let us have one look at the video representation of all the teams which you are going to be pulling for us very shortly. Mikel. Part number four, we have Guinea-Bissau, Mozambique, Namibia, Angola, the Gambia, and Tanzania. Mikhail, please give it a nice stare and Great reveal we go. the team that would be playing the opening match of the African Cup of Nations against that Cote d'Ivoire. Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau, they are on their fourth straight run, a remarkable joining since they started in 2017 <laughs> in Gabon. They will be in Group A in position A4, which will be the opening match of the competition January 13th. Mikhail, please. Mozambique. Mozambique will be in Group B in position B4. The members are back in action after more than a decade-long pause. They will be in Group B in position B4. Mikhail, please give it a nice stare. Thank you. The Gambia. The Gambia, the Scorpions are back for more after their 2021 debut in Cameroon. They will be in Group C, where they will be playing in the city of Yamusuko in position C4. Mikel, please. Angola. Angola. They hosted this beautiful competition back in 2010. The Palanca Negras will be in Group D playing in Boake in position D4. Mikel, please. Namibia. The Brave Warriors in their fourth battle a journey which they started in 1998. They will be playing in Korogo in Group E in position E4. And down to the last ball for you, Mikel. Tanzania. Taife Stars are making their third time a charm appearance. They will be playing in San Pedro in Group F in position F4. Thank you very much, Mikel. And now to you, Ashraf Hakimi. But before you reveal the first team, let us have a look at the video presentation of the teams in court number three. Number three, we have South Africa, Cap Verde, 
Guinea, Zambia, Guinea Equatorial, and Mauritania. Ashraf, please give it a nice stare and reveal to us the team that will be joining the Cote d'Ivoire in Group A. Guinea Equatorial. Zala National, they now appearing twice in a row. They are showing that they are rising star in African football. They will be in Group A in position A3. Ashraf, please. Kaf Bear. Have the Blue Sharks will be joining Mozambique. The Blue Stars are recalling their 2013 participation in South Africa where they finished in the quarterfinals. They'll be looking to even do better in their fourth participation in Group B in position B3. Ashraf, please. Guinea. Guinea is senior national. They have a goal scoring machine. Sehu Gerasi, who will be aiming to break many goal scoring records in this competition. They will be joining the Gambia in Group C, where they will be playing in Yamusuko in position C3. Now, Group D, Ashraf, please. Mauritania. Mauritania, Al Morabitus, they are a new force to be reckoned with. They are on their third back-to-back -back qualifications in the African Cup of Nations, where they started in 2019 in Egypt. They haven't stopped since then. They'll be in Group D playing in Boake with Angola. And Ashraf, please. South Africa. Bafana Bafana, the 1996 victors. They are making a grand return after being absent for some years. They will be playing in Korogo with Namibia in Group E. And last but not the least for you. Zambia. Zambia, the Chipolo Polo, the 2012 Almighty Champions. They're back in Africa, biggest football stage after missing out on a couple of editions. They'll be playing in San Pedro with Tanzania. Thank you very much, Hasha. Sergio, are you ready to reveal the teams in port number two? Just before doing that, let us have a look at the teams that will be drawn shortly. Number two, we have Nigeria, Cameroon, Mali, Burkina Faso, Ghana, and DR Congo. Mane, everyone is waiting for you to see the team that will be completing Group A. Please give it a nice stare. Take your time. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> I make it from... Thank you, please. Nigeria. The Super Eagles will be here knows a thing or two about lifting the trophy. You will not be playing, Mikael. But Nigeria has high Victor Osime that will be leading the attack where they'll be playing in the stadium Alassane Ouattara in Group A, where they'll be joined by Côte d'Ivoire, 
Guinea Equatorial and Guinea-Bissau. Sergio, please give it a nice stare. Ghana. Ghana, the Black Stars, the four-time title winners. They have some stellar youth energy and they will be representing in the 24th participation. They'll be joining Cape Verde and Mozambique in Stad Felix Hofuboane in Group B. And then, C please. Cameroon. The Indomitable Lions, five-time iconic champions. The country will be behind Abuchu and his teammates going in for the sixth star on their jersey. Cameroon were the beautiful host of last edition of this competition. They were also the last team to qualify to the African Cup of Nations. They'll be playing in the city of Yamoussoukro in Group C. And now, Sergio, please. Burkina Faso. Is it alone on their 13th outing? They were so close to the finals in the last uh, African Cup of Nations. They were even closer in 2013. Mikel, I'm sure you remember that match. And they will be chasing the trophy this time. They will be playing in Boaké in Group D. Sergio, please. Mali. Les Egg, the 1972 finalists. Mali is known for their exceptional youth system, which is now coming into fruition. They will be playing in Korogo in Group E, joining South Africa and Namibia. And the last team for you, Sergio. Congo RDC. The are Congo, the Leopards, they are two-time champions. They won the competition in 1974, where they even had the legendary Mohamed Ali cheering for them in the final match where he was there for the rumble in the jungle fight. They will be playing in San Pedro with Zambia and Tanzania. Thank you very much, Sadio. And now to the big man, DJ Drogba. Are you ready? You are going to be revealing to us the heavyweight of the African continent, the top five teams in the continent. They'll be completing the heads of the group. But first, let us have a look at the video representation of the five teams. remaining teams in port number one is Morocco, Senegal, Tunisia, Algeria and Egypt. EDA please give it a nice stare and reveal to us the team that will be completing Group B. Egypt. Egypt, the Pharaohs, they are boasting seven titles in 26 appearances with back-to-back hat-trick wins from 2006 all the way to 2010 in Angola. They will be completing Group B, where they're joined by Ghana, Cap Verde, and Mozambique. And now, a Group C, Didier, please. Senegal, the Sajamani.
the Lions of Terenga, they're the defending champions. Senegal remain unbeaten in the qualifiers. Sergio Mane, you'll be leading the team with so much pride. You'll be playing in Yamoussoukro against Cameroon. You have a history with Cameroon. Has a special place in your heart. You'll be playing Guinea and the Gambia. DJ, please. Algeria. Algeria, the FNAC, the two-time champions, they dominated the qualifiers and are ready for a really strong combat. They'll be playing in Group B, in Boake, with Burkina Faso, Mauritania, and Angola. And now, in Korogo, Didier, please. The Carthage Eagles, they lifted the trophy 20 years ago. They'll be aiming for a matchup that they had in 2004's achievements. They'll be playing in the city of Korogo, Mali, South Africa, and Namibia. And now, the last but not the least. Morocco. The Atlas Lions, 1976 champions, they were the first team to qualify and they're coming strong from a semi-final World Cup in Qatar where Ashraf Hakimi played a very important role there and I'm sure you'll be doing everything possible to keep the Moroccan dream alive in the city of San Pedro, which completes our draw for this evening. Let us have a look one more time at the groups. In Group A, they will be playing in the stadium of Alassane Ouattara, here in Abidjan. In Group A, we have Côte d'Ivoire, Nigeria, Guinea Equatorial, and Guinea-Bissau. In Group B, they'll be playing in um, Stade Félix of Ibane in Abidjan. We have Egypt, Ghana, Cap Verde, and Mozambique. In Group C, we have Senegal, Cameroon, Guinea, and the Gambia. And in Group D, playing in Mbwake, we have Algeria, Burkina Faso, Mauritania, and Angola. And in Group E, played in Korogo, we have Tunisia, Mali, South Africa, and Namibia. And finally, in Group F, in the city of San Pedro, we have Morocco, DR Congo, Zambia, and Tanzania. On my side, it's been a great honor to share the stage with you, amazing legends. And I can only wish all the teams, all the best of luck come January 2024. I would hand the stage back to our wonderful host, Akon and Kony Ture. Thank you. <laughs>